was right here. I literally blinked and he was right here. Amy, I gotta tell you something. Let's check the doors. I don't get it. This door is locked. So is this door. Look, I gotta tell you something and I don't know if you'll believe me. Look, when I dropped Ava home, I was walking down the street and so down this dark alleyway, I saw Billy and it looked like he was having, it was like a heart attack or something. He was like, he, he looked different, like, like he was trying to dig something out of his chest. He was, you know, on the ground. It was freaky. Anyway, so I called, you know, the emergency number and I look and guess what? When I looked up, he was gone literally gone that alleyway is a dead end and i was literally right outside of it there was no way he could have walked past me he disappeared well it looks like he just disappeared now i mean how can he do that he's not like alex no he can't be like any moral spy i mean they always look noticeably different and he just looks like everyone else you don't think i mean he can't be like anyone else, okay? He must be different in some way. You don't think he's in like disguise or something? Well, Alex would know she was in a relationship with him. Yeah, but we can't tell her. She'll, she'll get really narky and stuff. That breakup was really hard. Look, we have to keep this between ourselves and maybe find someone like Alex that's willing to talk to us. I mean, okay, but don't you think Alex would be insulted? Yeah, but I don't see any way that Alice would be willing to talk about Billy without, you know, being difficult. She just likes to pretend like he doesn't exist, and to be honest, I don't want to make things harder. Yeah, you're right, but as a last resort, we go to Alex, right? Definitely. Friday night. It was so good. Honestly, I had so much fun with Tom. Amy, you shouldn't have left so early. We had s it was so good. Oh, and see over there. Throughout this whole day, I have not seen Tom and Abby together once. I think they might be having some kind of relationship problem, to be honest. Well, um, I mean, couples don't have to be together 24-7. No, I don't think it's that. I think they're actually having issues. You know what? I'm not that hungry. I'm just gonna go to my locker or just skip the last two periods and go home. What's with Amy? Oh, you know, just the usual, not getting sleep. Her best friend keeps talking about a taken dude. Excuse me? Look, I get it. You have a crush on Tom, but like... Can you at least not be so excited if they show any signs of relationship issues? Not to mention it's just gonna attract bad attention on you. I mean, everyone loves Abby, and for good reason, she's nice. <sighs> I'm literally just saying that I had a good time on Friday with him. You're literally saying much more than that. Come on, Ash, can you eat something? Uh, I'm just not that hungry, that's all. Ashley, you study so hard, you need to eat something. <sighs> um, I'll be back. Ugh. Hey, at least your girlfriend actually sat with you. 
Mine's a little distracted. Oh. Wait. Look, I don't know if you remember me, but Ashley, yeah, Ashley Dalton. Oh, um, okay, so, <clears throat> okay, so if you remember me, then you would remember, um, a few years ago. Yeah, I do. And Ash, no, 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 listen. I don't want to hear what you have to say. I just want you to know that... I've made a life for myself now, and I've made so many friends. And I have the perfect boyfriend, great grades, and my life is doing pretty well. And I really hope you don't decide to do anything to jeopardize that. And I want you to stay the hell away from me. Permanently. Also, I really don't like what you did while I was on my date. That was rude. And also, pretty weird as well. Ashley, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry about the ruining your date. I don't even know what happened. I just... I walked into you and... I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. And I'm really... I just want you to know that... Look, Ashley, I'm sorry, I gotta interrupt you. Um, I'm sorry for everything, okay, but I really, really gotta go. Wait, no, I'm trying to talk to you! Ow! Ow! What are you doing? Uh, what am I doing? I'm trying to finish a sentence while you ran off. Well, I'm investigating. In investigating? Investigating what? Billy? Shh. How do you even know his name? Um, I know everyone. Well, how about this, okay? When I'm done figuring out what I need to figure out, you can give me your lecture. Oh my god. Aren't you supposed to be, like, in school? I got a pass. I mean, I guess I could just tell them that you kidnapped me. You're actually insane. You followed me. Just shut up. Is everyone here? Okay, did Billy just go through puberty again? What do you mean? Are you kidding me? He never speaks like that. He has more of a lighter and timid voice. Have you ever heard him speak? Actually, no. He just kind of stares a lot. Why are you investigating someone you never even heard him speak before? I have my reasons. Uh, yeah, everyone's here, boss. Oh, boss, I'm getting the ick. For the love of God, shut up. But yeah, I'm getting the ick too. Good. We need to talk about the plan. As we know, one of them is here. Back in town. But do we have any more information about the other two? I heard rumors that they were back as well. Um, unfortunately, boss, we don't know much more information besides from that. They've been keeping a really low profile. We can't find them. Well, Anne, Austrian, you two have to find those two. Uh, why us? Because I said so. The rest of us will focus on the one we know more information about. Unfortunately, is isn't much, but it's still something. Unfortunately, she's keeping a low profile, so how do we get close? Well, we know she's going to therapy. We also know she doesn't really out much, she's always at home or school. Uh, maybe one of us should get closer to one of her friends, or friends' friends. What do you propose? Well, if I'm honest, I actually don't know how much I can help with the other two, but I know with this one, if you get close to one of her friends or friends' friends, we can get close. Boss, uh, please allow me to um, try this technique out. Oh, look, we don't have much time, but I will give you four days, alright? 
but we need to see results by then, or you're going to join in. Of course, boss. Who are they talking about? I don't know. Oh my god. What is that? Oh, it's my boyfriend. Well, maybe you send your boyfriend an invite to our funeral. Oh, please. It's not like they're going to kill us. Look. Oh yeah, just make a scene. You're right, maybe they won't kill us. Maybe they'll just torture us, or kidnap us, or assault us, or anything else. Because, I don't know, well, why are you look? Uh, it's fine. Um, it's fine. Um, they don't see us. There's a bush covering us. Get them. Or maybe they do see us, you know what? Let's go. You're right. I said get them. Were they still following us? I don't think so. Um, let's just go to my room. Uh, okay. So, um, just sit anywhere you want. Your room's really nice. Oh, uh, yeah. I wanted more pastel colors, but I guess this will do. Especially pastel blue. I mean, I think the less blue makes it pop more. <laughs> kind of jealous. Why would you be jealous? Aren't you, like, mega rich? <laughs> Come on, Ashley, you're not poor. Yeah, no, I know, I'm just saying that, like, can't you just change your room whenever you want? I don't see your mom ever saying no. At least, less I remember. Well, you're in my house, so you might as well elaborate. Oh no, it's just, um, when I came back, my room was already restyled, and it was kind of like, um, really pink as well and I don't know I had that all my life I wanted something different uh did you tell your mom that yeah I mentioned it a few times but I don't think she wanted um any darker colors in my room kind of trying this whole lighter color positive thing I don't know well if it makes you feel any better um my mom doesn't care like that, so I don't feel bad for you. How is your mom? I never knew much about her. Yeah, always working. She has an assistant though that takes care of my sister and I, and she's nice. <laughs> Actually, same here. What? I thought your mom was like, hands-on type person. Well, she was until her five business worth kind of work kind of took over but she's been trying to work um from home a lot more and so we see the assistant more and so her assistant has always taken good care of us so interesting so you lived in like england for three years uh yeah i i did well you sure missed a lot what do you mean? Just a lot of the drama that happened, that's all. The crew that you remember have changed a lot. Classic example is Chloe Reed. Yeah, I've seen that firsthand, actually. Alexandra Knight, she's changed a bit too. She's a bit more secretive. At least for the past few weeks, I've noticed. Emma Jones is the same. Hey, did we go to school with Damien Hart. Yep, and he is as kind as ever. He is good friends with my boyfriend, and I don't know, he feels like a brother to me. He's had a crazy glow up, and yet he's still dorky. Yeah. So, why did you freak out on Friday night? It's embarrassing. 
he just reminds me of um someone and yeah but what's with that group what group the group that you and your boyfriend hangs out with they're just really loud and i can't tell if i'm supposed to like them or not well let's see there's my group within my boyfriend's group and we both kind of merge the groups together sometimes but pretty much there's samuel sebastian the both the pain you don't like them i mean samuel's all right but as soon as it's with sebastian oh my god okay you immediately lost me with the names oh right um okay sebastian orangey brown hair um then there's Samuel, he has the gray hair. Anyway, there's Samuel Bennett, and then Sebastian Hendricks. Then there's my boyfriend, Brian Wright. Thomas Griffin, but he, he kind of hangs out with your group sometimes. And who else is there? My two friends, Ellie and Rachel, Woodson Anderson, and Abby Forbes, which is Tom's girlfriend. Yeah, she's nice. Um, I haven't been able to talk to her much. I mean, yeah, she and I are friends, but I don't know, she's been acting a little different. I mean, I didn't even notice till Friday, but... Wait, Friday? Uh, yeah, she, um... She was at the Magic Cafe for like a hot two seconds, picking up an order, but I don't know. Anyway, what are we gonna do? What were they even talking about, those guys? I don't know, but I can't believe that Billy speaks like that. I mean, you might have not heard him speak before, but I have, and he does not sound like that. Is Billy in a gang? Mm, that feels like a stretch. I mean, he's scared of moths. How can he be in a gang? It just does not make sense. Not with his personality type. I mean, ugh, I don't know, but there was something really eerie about that. I mean, did you see their faces when they're chasing us? I thought we were gonna die. Yeah, something's really dodgy happening. As much as I agree, we can't tell anyone about this. Because for starters, no one's gonna believe us, okay? And second of all, we don't even know what's happening. Yeah, if anything, this has left more questions. When you say you're investigating, what were you investigating? Oh, uh, he was just acting really dodgy lately, so... And, um... He kind of disappeared when I tried talking to him, so... I thought to just see what he was doing. But... This has just left so many more questions. Or not. What are you doing? demand what do you mean at school with boys what Ugh. okay when he goes to the boys bathroom or something or somewhere quiet you and i with my boyfriend's group walk to him and demand answers i don't think that'll work <laughs> and why because if billy is in a gang then i don't think High school intimidation will get the answers. If he speaks timid and light at school, and then his voice changes and his whole demeanor changes, then I don't think intimidating him near the lockers or the bathroom is going to do much. I mean, he could actually just act and okay, see some random BS that's not true to just get off, off his back. Ugh, then what do you suggest? Well, I suggest what I'm doing, which is spying. I mean, it might not be honest and a bit embarrassing, but I think it's the only way. I mean, we can always try it your way, but I don't think it's gonna work. Also, if we don't want anyone else to know about this, what do we tell the guys? Well, we can always just make sure they don't say anything. Yeah, but how? Guys are unpredictable, and by the looks of it at the lockers, Sebastian and Seb is more unpredictable. Ugh, well, what if we do? Spy? Like I've been saying this whole time? I mean, I am. Ugh. Count me in. 
Wait, what? This has nothing to do with you. Well, it does now, okay? I was literally chased by his crazy group, just like you. And let's face it, you're probably gonna need all the help you can get. Okay, rude, yet truthful. I'm in. Now tell me everything.